Hi friends, this is Salvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good and safe. And today let us discuss about BGP community attribute. So community is used to tag the routes with an indicator and it is mainly you are using for routes filtering. So we can filter incoming or the outgoing routes using community attribute. So there are several attributes. One is no export. So what no export does, it will not advertise any update to eBGB neighbors, but it can advertise update to an IBGB, but it can't advertise any update to an eBGB neighbor. So before that, let us understand the architecture. So here I connected four routers, R1, R2, R3 and R4. So R2 has established an eBGB neighbor relationship with R1 and R3 and R2 and R4 both are in IBGB neighbor relationship because both are in the same autonomous system number. So first let us configure the BGP neighbor relationship. Next we will configure the export attribute, right? So let us go to the configuration. Let us go to R1 configuration. Configuration mode router BGP1 and the neighbor is 192.168.12.2, right? Neighbor is 192.168.12.2 and the remote autonomous system number value is 2. Similarly, we have to configure for R2. So go to R2 and the autonomous system number value is 2, right? R2. So router BGP2 and the neighbor is 192.168.12.1 and the remote autonomous system number value is 1, right? It is an EBGB neighbor and it has another EBGB neighbor that is 3. So neighbor is 23.2. So neighbor 192.168.23.2 and the remote autonomous number value is 3, right? So that is the autonomous number value. And go to R4. Let us go to R4 and we'll configure the neighbor relationship. Go to R4 and configure router BGP2 and the neighbor is, it has only one IBGB neighbor that is 24.1, right? So 192.168.24.1 and the remote AS number value is 2, right? So 2 year configured. Similarly, now let us go to R2 and check the neighbor relationship. So R2 has 3 neighbors, right? 1, 2 and how many neighbors you configured? 12.1 and 23 and another neighbor is 24.2 you have to configure, right? So R2, go to router bgp2 and we'll let us configure the neighbor relationship 24.2 192.168.24.2 and the remote autonomous number value is 2 so these are the neighbor we have configured and now let us check in r3 so r3 also we have to configure the neighbor relationship right so go to r3 and check router bgp3 router bgp3 and the neighbor is, it has one EBGV neighbor, right? 23.1, 192.168.23.1 and the remote AS value is 2, right? So I have configured all the BGP neighbor relationship. Now let us check the BGP neighbor relationship. Show IP BGP all summary. So it is updated, so it has only one neighbor. So R2 has three neighbors. Let us check the thing. Show IP BGP all summary. Yeah, it has three neighbors and all the three number neighbors are coming up, right? So one is an IBGB neighbor and two EBGB neighbor, right? So two EBG neighbor all are coming up. Similarly, go to R3 and check the neighbor relationship. Show IP BGP all summary. So this neighbor is also coming up. Similarly, go to R4 and check the neighbor. It has one EBGB neighbor. Show IP BGP all summary. So this neighbor is also coming up. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to configure the MED, uh, I'm going to configure the community attribute, right? So the community attribute, no export, I'm going to configure. Now let us go to R1 and router BGP1, right? And the neighbor, we have to add an attribute called send community. So neighbor 192.168.12.2, configure send community. And then what I have to do, I have to configure the root map. So now configuration router BGP1 and the neighbor is 192.168.12.2 and I have to configure the root map statement for no export attribute. I am going to use no export value uh, attribute, right? So what it does, it will advertise update to only IBGB but not to EBGB neighbor, right? So it is, I already told, community is used to tag the routes with an indicator and is used for filtering the routes, incoming or outgoing routes. So first you have to specify the attribute, send community. Then I have to configure the route map. I am going to configure the no export. 
no export and let us make this out so now i have to configure the individual route map statement route map the same thing i have to copy and permit 10 and set community so i am setting the community attribute as no export so this is the attribute i am setting so after that i already set the attribute right first i will configure the bgp neighbor relationship and send community and no export for filtering the outgoing routes that means it will only send the update to the ibgp neighbors but it not send to an ebgp neighbor right so that's the thing i'm going to show and also i'm going to advertise a prefix so this loop back i'm going to advertise a prefix in r1 let us advertise a prefix go to configuration mode and router bgp1 network is 1.1.1.0 and mask is 255.255.255.0 so i configure the prefix right so now let us see the routing routing table show ip bgp so we are able to see the prefix right that is 1.1.1 so also you can check like this show ip bgp 1.1.1 so we are able to see the prefix advertise so it is our advertise locally right now we will check in r2 so go to r2 and check the prefix show ip bgp so here we are able to see right the community i set is no export and we are able to see the update here that means we are receiving this r2 will receive the update and it will send it to R4, but it will not advertise to R3. So that's the thing, right? Community, no advertise, it, no export is nothing, but it will not advertise the update to EBGB neighbors. That means it will receive the update and send it to only IBGB neighbor, but it will not send the update to R3. That is an EBGB neighbor, right? So let us see, show IP BGP already is checked, right? So here it is receiving the update. Similarly, we'll check in R3, show IP BGP 1.1.1. And similarly, we'll check in R3. So let us check in. We have checked in R4, right? Let us check in R4. Show IP BGP 1.1.1. So it is advertising. So it is it is getting advertised to the IBGB, right? R4 and R2. So R4 we are seeing, and R2 also we are seeing the update, but you will not see the update in R3, right? So since because it will receive the update and R4 also it will send the update but it will not advertise update to any EBGB neighbor that is the main purpose of no export community attribute. So what it does whenever I am advertising here R2 will receive the update and it will send the update only to the IBGB neighbor and it will not advertise any update to the EBGB neighbor. So that is the main purpose of community no export attribute and another attribute I am going to discuss that is no advertise right. So this is the first attribute. I hope you are understanding so whatever thing no other two things i need to configure first is send community and second is no export so send community and no export is nothing but use for filtering incoming or the outgoing routes so here what we are doing just we are filtering the outgoing routes too that is it will not advertise any routes to ebgb so that means whenever i'm doing a no export this router will receive the update and it will only advertise the update to an ibgb neighbor this is an ibgb neighbor but it is not going to advertise any route to an ebgb neighbor so that is the main purpose of no export attribute. I hope you understood. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me for more videos. Thank you.